can't really speak for all pho restaurants and pho experiences. Where to find good pho in LA. And I have to put out a disclaimer because I have not lived in LA for very long. But I guess I get to say whatever I want. I do get asked uh, by, I guess, my coworkers and people who find out that I'm Vietnamese, uh, what type of food I like and where to go to get good Vietnamese food. Although I haven't lived here for very long, I have tried some of the food here, especially the Vietnamese food. And I guess I could also share my own personal philosophy when it comes to the food that I do know. For me, I would say that if a person can go to Vietnam to try the food, you should definitely do that and try food from all of the regions. I feel like being Vietnamese, I I learned from an early age that there is the North, the Middle, and the South, and that might be because of the Vietnam War, that that's a very distinct type of thing. But I, I do now also recognize that not only are the accents in Vietnamese different, but the food is also different. So pho in the North is definitely going to be different than pho in the South. So that's my first recommendation that y'all should go to Vietnam and see what the food is like there. I do have a hunch that the food in the US is better. The food in the US has more chemicals in it. Not necessarily better, I guess, but there's just a lot of a lot of resources here to make the food hopefully taste better. Another thing is I feel like any place that has quality food and has good customer service should be deemed a good restaurant. So if you live where there aren't a lot of Vietnamese people and that restaurant you feel is a good restaurant, then it's a good restaurant. Like you, I think that's totally, totally fair. Last but not least is I guess going back to the first point of going to Vietnam, living in Los Angeles, Vietnam technically is only 30 to 40 minutes away by car ride without traffic, I guess, and that's in Orange County. So if y'all really, if y'all are in invested in knowing what good Vietnamese pho tastes like, then make the trip and you will know very, very soon. But of course, if it is just a quick question that you're looking for a quick answer. I guess my favorite restaurant and that I've found on Yelp is Pho 79 and that's in the OC. And they take cash only, which is very customary for a lot of Asian Vietnamese establishments. So be prepared. There is an Arco across the street with an ATM that I guess you could use a debit card like Schwab with because I tried going to the liquor store right next to the pho place and they said that their ATM was broken. Boo on that liquor store. So that is a good pho place that I would recommend. Um, a place I know that my friend from Vietnam likes in LA on the west side is called Pho Nong La which means pho and a uh, hat made of straw. And my last but not least favorite place to get pho, and I guess it's not even in LA, I think the closest one is in the 626, is Ban Mi which is like a fast food, like Lee's sandwiches types type of place, but you can get pho there for really cheap, and I wouldn't recommend it in terms of quality, but I adore places that make things accessible, so it's very, very accessible in terms of price and I guess location sort of price primarily. <laughs> the types of foods that you can get there, it's kind of like a deli. That is my spiel on where to get pho in LA for all the people who keep asking me. I think another thing is how I would eat pho is I guess when you look at the menu, pho is basically the noodles and the broth and then you can choose what type of meats go in there. So if you know what type of meats you like, then that's good. There's also usually the number one, which is called the special, and that will have like a lot of different types of meat in there. You can try them all. 
and then a plate of fresh bean sprouts or maybe it's been blanched will come out depending on your preference. Um, I think folks like the blanched bean sprouts because they feel, we feel, that it it has less contaminants on it if it's been dipped in hot water. So that's one. There's also like fresh herbs. I want to say it's like just leafy greens that smell and taste way better and more exciting than just spinach or lettuce. <laughs> so I guess you could say fresh herbs, but herbs just sound so dry and small. It's kind of like a arugula, except tastes way better. So that will come out and I will usually snack on that as an appetizer. What I like is the unblanched crispy bean sprouts and I will get a small dipping bowl sauce for the hoisin sauce and then just dip the bean sprouts in there. And I think I saw that somebody do that first, probably in Vietnam actually. So that and then the pho comes out and it's really fast. I love pho because it's just so fast. <laughs> Like they don't, I don't even get any time to really think about what I've just ordered. I order it, the vegetables come out, and then the pho comes out and I'm ready. So I try to put the bean sprouts in. I'll put as much of the herbs in. So I will pluck the leaves off of the stems if they're still on the stems and then rip them up if I can, put them in the pho soup. And I used to also not eat these herbs, but I also saw somebody who was not Vietnamese eat them all and I was just thinking, I'm missing out. Like I should be using up and trying to be, you know, not wasting food, use up all of this. So put as much of that stuff in there. It's good for you, I think. And what I will do is, I remember learning how to eat with chopsticks in a TK noodle. Dong ki, mi dong ki. I've come a long way and there's still more to be improved upon. So chopsticks, you got that soup spoon. It's like a whole thing. Do I drink the soup first? I used to drink the soup first. Or do I eat the noodles first? Or do I eat the meat first? I guess now it's just a mix. I will put some of the noodles onto the spoon and then take my chopsticks and put it in the hoisin sauce to put on the noodles in my spoon and then just eat it like that or I will take the meat and dip it straight into the hoisin sauce. I'd say that pho is not good to take home though. So if you don't finish your pho and you must take it home, then I would ask for two containers, one for the broth and one for the noodles because if you leave the noodles in the broth for too long, they will get mushy in Vietnamese. It it's called na, which means it will bloom. Uh, and I don't think that tastes like how it tastes when it first comes out, but I guess that's just the way that the noodle evolves through time. And yeah, that's how I enjoy my pho.